Hoffman, Rainier Werner with CNS Live. I was hoping to ask you a few questions if I could, please. First of all, congratulations on being released from the hospital after your quarantine. Can you describe for us what happened when Garrett Frinson attacked you? Well, I... The team's manager happens to be a good friend, and we were talking business. We were discussing Garrett's future. And suddenly he was right there. So do you have any idea what might have caused him to transform into a demoniac while still alive? Not really, no. He was a very jealous man deep down. He always had a terrible violent streak in him. I'm not surprised he became possessed. I see. That's a goddamn lie! You were wearing a see-through negligee and talking to a man in a silk bathrobe in the middle of the goddamn night! God, who wouldn't be pissed at you, you stupid bitch! Another, I'm going over there tomorrow to get the truth out of her. After the break. What the hell was with you on TV last night? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your bullshit. When did I say one thing that wasn't true? Gerd would never attack you without provocation. What? Are you suggesting... You expect us to believe that the two of you were talking business dressed like that? If Gerd was violent, it was because you drove him to it, you whore! You didn't know him like I did. Gerd was as far from a hero as you could possibly get. That creep acted like a man possessed from the very beginning. It's only natural that he became a monster, and if you ask me, he deserved to die! You little bitch! Screw you! You're just like... Hermon, <laughs> stop! She's a goddamn liar! Calm down. What the hell is going on here? First Garrett attacks me and now the XAT? We don't know that Garrett is actually dead. Yeah, we never found his body after the wreck. What? But... If he's possessed, he might have regenerated and be on his way back here to settle the score. No, he can't... Then again, your conscience is clean, so you should have nothing to worry about, sweetheart. Hey, wait. Don't... don't just leave. It's the XAT. It's job to protect citizens from demoniacs, isn't it? You can't just abandon me! So, why are you here? Well, if Garrett is in fact alive, chances are he'll make his way back here. The captain is hoping we can cut him off at the pass. Don't worry, miss. We're not going anywhere, I promise you. Workaholic. Aren't you supposed to be on suspension right now because of this kind of BS? Boss finds out and you're toast. We're too short-staffed now. I'm not worried about it. Damn it. Everyone keeps treating Garrett like some kind of monster. Two days ago, they were sure he was their savior. Well, that's gratitude for you, I suppose. Hey, you're not the only one who still believes in him. My little brother wrote Garrett a fan letter. Even after everything that's happened... Malik still practically worships the ground beneath his feet. Really? He's a sweet kid. Too bad Garrett will never get this. Sorry, but this is not the time for us to get too sentimental. So let's get back to work. Yes, ma'am. Herman, you take the front. Al will cover the back, and I'll take the inside. Sounds good. <laughs> 